Tell the fans how tough it was to come off that back-to-back -to -back tough one three and a half hours late and then have to play this team. Yeah, I don't, I'm sure the fans don't want to hear us complaining. Oh, but still. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was tough. It was a challenge. You know, it definitely added an extra challenge, you know, with our playing getting delayed and getting in at 430. But, um, you know, you just got to be ready to play. And coming in and playing a young, a young group that's pushing the ball up and down the floor, uh, we knew it wasn't going to be easy. But, you know, this was pure just, you know, will and hard tonight to get this win. And defensively, you didn't allow field goal the last uh, four minutes plus. What, what turned that part around? Uh, sense of urgency. You know, it's winning time. And, um, you know, they had before that, they went on the streak where they was knocking down shots. Covington, JJ, uh, them guys is knocking down shots. So we just had to do a little bit more, get to their shooters a little bit closer, and um, just have a sense of urgency. After last night, how redeeming or fulfilling was it for the bench to kind of yeah. pick back up? Yeah, you know, we, we, you know, we try to be a positive force for this team every night. As much as we want to, you know, we know some nights it's not going to be that way. But um, at the last night, you know, I felt tonight we came in and just we played. I thought last night was a little bit too robotic, you know, in the way we ran offense and the way we played. Tonight I just thought we just flowed and played. And um, it's, it was good to have the bench my back to doing what, you know, we normally do for this team. As someone whose game is primarily middle in and under the rim, how big of a safety net is it to have a guy like Kyle on the outside when yeah, things collapse? It's huge, man. It's huge. Um, you know, he makes our team you know, special, you know, with what he's able to do, um, the way he's able to move off the ball. He never stops moving. And even when he's not making shots, he's still a threat uh, with the defense always got to have an eye on him. So it allows other guys to be able to, you know, have moments where they can sneak attack or have a little bit more space on the floor, um, et cetera. So, uh, you know, I know LeBron is, you know, the guy and get the headlines. But uh, to me, Kyle is, you know, is, you know, is important um, to our success uh, for sure. How much fun are those cuts off the ball that either you or LeBron get where you just seemingly inherently know where the other one is? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, uh, I've been playing with that guy over there for a long time, all our years, you know, NBA, Olympics, All-Star, whatever. Um, so I know what he's thinking. Um, it's just about, you know, trying to make sure the flow is, you know, um, spread enough to where I can, you know, have those cut at that time. So um, it works both ways. It's good, you know, and, um, you know, I told him when I missed the left-hand layup, I was going to make it up, and I was able to, you know, make the floater in the lane after that. So, um, um, you know, it's definitely good to have that, you know, kind of chemistry, um, especially late in games, you know, when they when they worried about Cal, um, and you can just sneak along the baseline and, you know, and be a safety valve in a sense for the team. It's great. What's the biggest uh, adaptation from your point of view, um, from leading the second unit to complementing the, f um, the starting lineup? Um, well, we just, you know, we, we have a very, we got talented guys on the second unit, and, um, you know, I, uh, like I said, we take a lot of pride in um, making sure that every night we become, we be a positive for this team. And as much as we want it to be every night, it won't happen every night, but more times than not, you know, we want it to happen. And, you know, we just want to play better with more energy, uh, more pace than we did last night um, in Indiana. And I thought we did that. And we was able to get some things going for individual guys in that group. And then when we play with LeBron or when Kevin's in the lineup, et cetera, you know, our role is a little different um, in a sense, but we still have to, you know, um, play our roles. And I thought we did that tonight. Between the greatest, the greatest the, uh, winning streak was, is it equally important to avoid even small losing streaks? Definitely, definitely. This has been a tough one. You know, you, cut, you go on a 13 game and you lose two in a row. And we could have had an excuse. We could have made an excuse. Uh, but, you know, no one wants to hear that in this league. Um, and definitely not in this locker room. If your goal is to become a champion one day, you can't allow excuses to be, um, you, know, you know, at the top of the list. So I was glad that we was able to come in today. Um, it wasn't a lot of words being said. Guys didn't talk a lot. Everyone was focused on, you know, just trying to muster up whatever they had, um, you know, to give it to this game. And I thought we did that. Dwayne, I saw that, um, looked up that last year you had 41 blocks all of last season. And then this season, if I'm correct with your one tonight, you have 22 through 25 games. What, like, where has the kind of the blocking kind of come into, it's been such a big part of your game this season? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, some right place, right time. Some, I'm, I'm thinking about it more. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm making more of an effort, um, you know, to, to get them. I think the last couple of years, I just I didn't make as much of an effort to get the blocks as, in a sense. Um, but, you know, just right place, right time, and, you know, just trying to help this team where I can in any way. You know, other years when, um, you know, when you rose to score the basketball a lot, sometimes 
you know, you let other guys do certain things like grab rebounds or get the blocks and, you know, you try to get the outlet. But, you know, now, you know, it's a little different role. So, you know, just trying to be a positive whenever I'm on the floor. Some nights offense is going to be great. Some nights it's not. Some nights it's going to be pass. Some nights it's going to be defense. So whatever it is, you know, you want to be able to, um, you want the coach to be able to play you at the end of the game because you know you're going to bring something positive to the team, and that's what I'm trying to do. All right. Thanks, everybody. Oh, go ahead, Chris. Jay said that he felt relief. Who said it? Jay said he felt relief after making that big three at the end of the game. What was it like to see him, who has been struggling so far this year, make that kind of shot, and what can it mean for him? Well, it was great. Um, you know, he, he, he shot it. He didn't think about it, you know. Um, the double team came with Brian. We had, you know, myself and Jeff slashed, and he stepped up and knocked it down. And you see the look on his face <laughs> um, of the relief. But, you know, we, we we believe in that guy, man. We want him to continue to keep shooting it. Um, no matter, like I always tell him, no matter how many shots you miss, just think you're going to hit the next one. Um, you know, we see him work on this game all the time. And it's the game of basketball, you know. It's 50-50 every time it go up. But that was a big shot. We needed that. Um, sealed the game, and um, you know it couldn't happen to it happened to the right guy on his team. You know the one who really needed a shot to go in. So um, you know we can't say it's going to propel him for the next game, but we want to know that we got confidence in him. You know to continue to knock those down.